Mussolini and his mistress Clara Pedixi were stopped by communist partisans Valerio and Bellini and identified by the political commissar of the partisans 52nd Garibaldi Brigade, Urbano Lazzaro, on April 27, 1945, near the village of Dongo, Lake Como, as they headed for Switzerland to board a plane to escape to Spain. During this time Clara's brother posed as a Spanish consul. After several unsuccessful attempts to take them to Como they were brought to Mesigra. They spent their last night in the house of the Di Maria family. The next day, Mussolini and Pedixi were both summarily shot, along with most of the members of their 15-man train, primarily ministers and officials of the Italian Social Republic. The shootings took place in the small village of Giulino de Mesigra and were conducted by a partisan leader who used the nom de guerre of Colonello Valerio. His real identity is unclear. Conventionally he is thought to have been Walter Odysseo, who always claimed to have carried out the execution, but another partisan controversially alleged that Colonello Valerio was Luigi Longo, subsequently a leading communist politician in post-war Italy. On April 29, 1945, the bodies of Mussolini, Pedixi, and the other executed fascists were loaded into a moving van and truck south to Milan. There, at 3 o'clock a.m., they were dumped on the ground in the old Piazza Loreto. The piazza had been renamed Piazza Quindici Martiri in honor of 15 anti-fascists recently executed there. After being shot, kicked, and spat upon, the bodies were hung upside down on meat hooks from the roof of an SO gas station. The bodies were then stoned by civilians from below. This was done both to discourage any fascists from continuing the fight and as an act of revenge for the hanging of many partisans in the same place by Axis authorities. The corpse of the deposed leader became subject to ridicule and abuse. Fascist loyalist Achill Steris was captured and sentenced to death and then taken to the Piazza Loreto and shown the body of Mussolini. Steris, who once said of Mussolini he is a god, saluted what was left of his leader just before he was shot. The body of Steris was subsequently hung up next to the body of Mussolini. After his death and the display of his corpse in Milan, Mussolini was buried in an unmarked grave in the Musacco Cemetery, to the north of the city. On Easter Sunday 1946 his body was located and dug up by Domenico Lecce and two other neo-fascists. On the loose for months and a cause of great anxiety to the new Italian democracy the Duce's body was finally recaptured in August, hidden in a small trunk at the Certus Adipavia, just outside Milan. Two Franciscan brothers were subsequently charged with concealing the corpse, though it was discovered on further investigation that it had been constantly on the move. Unsure what to do, the authorities held the remains in a kind of political limbo for ten years, before agreeing to allow them to be reinterred at Pradapio in Romagna, his birthplace. Adonzali, the prime minister of the day, contacted Donna Rochelle, the dictator's widow, to tell her he was returning the remains, as he needed the support of the far right in parliament, including Lechesi himself. In Perdapio the dictator was buried in a crypt, the only posthumous honor granted to Mussolini. His tomb is flanked by marble fasces, and a large idealized marble bust of him is above the tomb. <laughs>